eh, yo creo que me ponía a hacer más presión que, que usar manos la, 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 la. In, in spurts I did do it, but then at the end I was trying to do too much pressure and that didn't work. In the fifth round, you kind of came alive and, and, and won that what round. What up, YouTube? It's JT, man. Seconds. Did you feel as though at that point you were going to be able to establish Davis the knocks and out Pedraza to become the youngest champ. In boxer right now at 22 to win the IBF title. Tank Davis, seventh round TKO. I mean, he did win the fight, you know, but he has to get better foot movement, man. He kind of stand in, stood in front of Pedraza, looking like Andre Berto, man, you know, standing like a motherfucking statue, but the dude generated power from that southpaw stance. And he done what he had to do to get the victory, man. Um, so, Javante Davis adding on to the already stacked 130-pound weight division, man. And uh, we'll just see where he goes from here, man. This is probably, like you said, man, it's probably going to be the first of many world titles for Javante Davis, man. So, you know. All in all, a great performance, man. He made a statement. He TKO'd this motherfucker, man. And got him up out of there, man. So you guys tell me what you think, man. It's JT. the youngest current champion in boxing. We asked if he could handle the big step up. The answer, a resounding yes. Let's go to the official scores now at the time of the stoppage. All three judges had it the same 59 55 in favor of the new champion. Let's bring in Showtime's unofficial scorer, Steve Farhan. Mo, uh, the uh, fourth round was the only round that I gave Pedraza that the judges didn't. Dominant start by Davis. Slight comeback in the fourth and fifth. He won those rounds on at least one card, but ultimately, no comeback for Pedraza. Some great sportsmanship.